I'm in Florida. I believe I'm somewhere near Marco Island. I'm not in the in the Keys or Alamorod or the real famous tarpon spots, but I'm around around in the Gulf side of that. And I'm with Captain Drew, Mangrove Maniac, Linkles, and Scram and everything below. He's a guide around here. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. You know, I've caught trout. I've caught kingfish in New Zealand, but my species list is very short. I just added smallmouth and things to it but so I am out here we got the ocean to fish we got mangroves or backwater um, Everglades stuff I don't actually know but we could be into some like snook redfish black drum uh, there's a couple in there that I can't think of right now but most importantly and I'm not holding my breath for it but we should get some shots and some tarpon whether they be big ones or small ones I'm just I'm just absolutely pumped to be out here and doing this this is by far the biggest thing that I've ever done in my life and um, I'm just I'm just freaking stoked to be here freaking stoked to be bringing you guys along with me anyway he's just getting some ice for the beers we're about to have the boat in and uh, have ourselves a bloody good time <laughs> So I've got to stop this video here. I'm back in New Zealand. It's the first day I've been back. I'm super jet lagged. I'm super tired, but I'm glad to be home. But I have to explain uh, the first half of the first day is completely gone. It's missing. I had an SD card failure, which is one of my biggest fears going into this. So that something like that would happen, but thankfully I noticed having issues with SD card, so I changed it about halfway through the day. And this is where this video now picks up is when I first changed that SD card. So the the other SD card completely failed, lost all the footage. So in the morning, that's not on the video, I caught a snook. A couple of snook, one was about 30 inches and lost a really, a really good one as well. And I uh, had a few shots at some tarp and, and explained a few things like the fact that I'd lost my luggage. I didn't have any gear with me, I had one rod with me. Um, well, I'm not using my gear, I'm using Drew's gear and a few other, a few other things. I can't remember what they were now, but anyway. So this is where the video picks up, is about halfway through the first day. Uh, but there's still some more cool stuff goes down, so please continue to watch, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the video. Peace. So I hooked the snook, and then I hooked the same sort of snook twice. The second time he bust me off through sheer sandpaper teeth. Um, yeah, so, so far snook two, Gareth upset. That way? Yeah, right in there. Not, not too far in either, just kind of hanging out over there. Yep, 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 like a red, red, red. Oh, come on, I can get these. Eat it. Slow down a little bit, but keep it hopping. Eat it. Oh, my God. <laughs> he touched it. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to smell it a little bit. <laughs> he was giving it a sniff. I could actually see the, t the tail move on his face. Is that a baby poon? What is that? Is it? Ah, oh, sweet. Man, he ate it. So I had like a shot at some bigger snook. Probably much, how big is that one? This guy? Yeah. He's probably about 20, 21 inches. 21, but that's my first American saltwater fish. The mighty snook, which was, I actually really wanted to catch. They look like a really cool fish. But uh, yeah. Stoked. Man, they're really crazy paper thin mouth, eh? Right, that little papery memory. One last look and I'll let her go. Like this, like Good. Word! Fish is gone. Stoked. Can you still see it? Oh, there it is. Just off to the left of that stick. Closer? He's turning, 
Is it? Want to go past him a little bit? Oh, a little tiny snake. Throw back at that big one again. Are those little snook? Oh, he smoked it. He spit it out. Go back to that big one again. Just keep going to that big one. Just keep bringing it right over his head until he... Like something. What the hell's that? Big snook. Shit. Fuck, he's just laying underneath. Yeah. What'd I get? There's something bigger beside it. It's really small. What is that? Damn. No, you dang snapper. Snapper, what are you doing? I caught a snapper. That's quite a cool looking fish. But uh, as I hooked the snapper, a big tarpon swam past. That's how it works, that's how it happens. I think I might have been a big mullet. What's that there? That's a tarpon. How do I drop that there? Yeah, he's looking this way. Tarpon. That was a tarpon. I don't know if that come. I, I don't know if that came up on GoPro, but that was a tarpon. It was about this big. I'd have been super amped to catch him. Can I make a chase my fly? There's something beside him. That was sick. That's a snooky right there. He, wow. he really wanted it. <laughs> so that's better than my first snook. Seems a little healthier too. That last one was yeah. quite skinny. Yeah. This one's definitely a bit firmer and fatter. But yeah, that was really fun. Really aggressive eat. Super, super good fun. We've seen a few tarp and I'm not sure how, how many of them I've been rolling the camera for, but not the fun for now. Stop. Let go. Let go of my thumb. Don't be a sook, Snook. Cool. Cool, man. Sweet. That was a nice Snook right there that ate my fly. <laughs> Grouper. Oh god. Help me. Seriously. If he runs again it's over. Jeez. I hooked the grouper. I think this is bigger than that grouper we were playing with. It certainly feels stronger. I wish I was rolling the camera, that ate that right beside the boat. I want to see it, because I'm like still not convinced it's a grouper. If that was a tarpon, it would have jumped, right? Oh yeah. 
Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this is bigger than that other one. This is heaps bigger, I'm telling you. How the what are we gonna do with it? What are we gonna do with it? Could you grab that camera out when you get down? Holy shit! It's got a freaking grouper on fly. Which is insane. This was not on the species list no, of things to try and catch while I was on the US. I hooked one of these. Oh yeah, that's way bigger than the other one. How are we gonna get it? Uh, we're gonna try to, I'm gonna lift it. Holy crap. I wanna grab this one. That's why if he stops totally head shaking, I might try to get my hands in there if I can get him where my gloves are under his teeth. Holy shit. Dude, how are you going to stand up? So we came back up into this bay. Drew's been very gracious. Kept Turning away trying to find some fish. Had some good shots at some tarpon, but haven't managed to make any of them stick. Had one swipe and eat. I'm not sure if I was rolling the camera for it or not. But and I know I wasn't rolling the camera for the hookup on that Goliath grouper, but it ate it right at the boat, moving the fly really, really slow. Just about got me in the mangroves over there and totally ruined my day again because one earlier did that to me. Two shots at Goliath grouper yeah, in one day. Freaking crazy dude. It's crazy. In like a foot or two of water, you know. Sight fishing Goliath groper on fly. Definitely wasn't on my agenda, but I'm glad it happened. Yes, yeah, so now I suppose we're gonna mosey on out of here and start making our way back towards civilization. <laughs> Grocery shopping here. Yeah, there's groceries on that side. Really? Is this a big Walmart? Do they come bigger or? They have bigger. They this is impressive. They sunscreen. Sunscreen? Kayaks? Groceries? It took me like 10 minutes to walk to that end. I get a 120 at night. Okay, got it. Got it. Do you get your tires changed here? Yeah. I'm in Walmart for the first time ever and there's paint, firearms, fishing stuff, micro SD cards. Did I already say tires? Tires, groceries. Tires, groceries. Everything. Anything you could ever want. In New Zealand we have something called a warehouse. Uh, you could fit probably at least six of the biggest warehouses I've ever been in uh, in this store right here. There is literally everything. This is crazy. So now I'm outside Walmart. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I had a, an absolute blast today with Drew. It was the first time I've ever actually been on a guided trip myself, but I had fun. I know we're going to catch some more cool, cool fish tomorrow and the next day. So a lot more cool stuff to come, a lot more really, really good fishing. Should be good. So, as always, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. They even have a Burger King. <laughs>